welcome back Uh, I see some view. Seems like seems like live stream is resetting the feed in, in the middle of the night, so the WAN's not there. But that was, if that happens, it happens. Nothing much I could do about that. But if it doesn't happen, the WAN will be at the beginning. Quit showing everybody your private parts, you flasher. Your belly spots. I saw Addie scratching at her ear a lot earlier. Her ears seem to be fine. I know if I scratch at my ear enough, it makes it itch even more, which makes me want to scratch more, which makes it itch more. I suspect that might have been the case. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie's belly. Look at Grant standing up. Ah, well, he was. Hey, Eddie, give me five. Gotta look at me first. Give me five. Tori, don't be using this as a distraction to get past me. Give me five. Tori says, no fives, it's exercise time. You know, with Eddie scratching at her ear, it could just simply be that it feels good.
Hey there, Grant. How you doing, little man? Okay, let's see your zombies, Grant. Oh, Jimmy just pounced. Gary is currently either in my lap or laying near me, which right now she's laying near me, right in front of me, in fact. Watching the kittens. No, they're not growing on their potty yet. Grant has uh, what's called frog leg syndrome. He will he will outgrow it in probably about two two weeks, two to three weeks from now. He's already walking on his legs. Grant also has a flat chest, flat, flat chest syndrome. If you scroll down a little bit, you'll see a a diagram showing a normal kitten's uh, chest, an inverted chest, and then a flat chest. Figure three is what Grant looks like. Though he's starting to outgrow that too. It's not quite as flat as it, flat as it used to be. It's a little bit more rounded. There are treatments, but he has to be three months old before that can be looked into. But right now, if it wasn't for 
noticing his flat chest, I wouldn't think anything was wrong with him. I think at worst he may just get tired a little bit more easier. Jenna asks, what are the treatments for a flat chest kitten syndrome? I honestly don't know. Well, I remember reading one where they, um, the ribs were connected to the sternum. They, discon they basically uh, separate that point, add a, add, or add something to make it more of a gap. But I don't think he needs that. It could be that he just needs to wear a band around his chest, which slightly puts pressure on the sides, which will help help flex his chest out normally. But you don't want to do that if the kitten has an inverted chest because it can actually kill them. It could push their sternum into their organs. It boils down to quality of life. Will he have any real improvements? Right now, I would say no. He gets around just fine. He's just as active. The, I have seen many viewers comment that they have a cat that had that had a flat chest syndrome as a, as a kitten and still do. And the worst thing they have is sometimes they just get tired a little early. Grant had a bit of a slowdown with his weight gains after his flat chest became more pronounced, which is typical in kittens that have it, as is having the front legs too. He rebounded after some formula supplemental and he started to level up again. He's had a few couple of days with the small gains. If he has another small gain today, I'm planning on giving him extra formula to supplement his his diet I should get him back on track he's still gaining so that's that's the big thing and he's still active still nursing he's very intense he, he observes his surroundings a lot same with Addie when she's not sharpening her claws on chicken fish hey Tori Okay, I'm going to go ahead and weigh the kittens. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see a link to the kitten cam fact and weight chart. You can follow me along if you wish. The kittens are four weeks old today. Thursday, they'll be four weeks and one day. 
Jamie still maintained his lead over Tori and widening his gap. For a while there, they were constantly switching places. Adam is our Adam that comes in third. Grant's trailing by a few ounces in fourth. Yesterday, Jimmy weighed 17.9 ounces, 507 grams. Today, and get you, get your pause in there. 18.6. So Jimmy gained 0.7 ounces, now weighs 527 grams. Addy yesterday weighed 16.3 ounces, 462 grams. The little acrobat here now weighs... 10 still, girl. Quit climbing. 16.7 ounces. So she gained 0.4 ounces, now weighs 473 grams. Grant yesterday weighed 13.5 ounces, 383 grams. And he's way over there in the corner. Come here, Grant. He just spun around and bonked the, into the fence. Okay, let's see how much Grant weighs today. Thirteen point seven ounces. So it's another small gain. So I'll start giving him formula tomorrow. So Grant gained point two ounces. Now weighs three hundred eighty-eight grams. Yesterday. Tori weighed 17.1 ounces, 485 grams. Seventeen point five ounces. So Tori gained point four ounces, now weighs four hundred and ninety-six grams.
Is your grant standing up? Harry's chilling out on my lap now. One reason why Addy, I mean, uh, Grant's not gaining weight as fast is because he's active. One of the previous fosters was like that too. Einstein, aka Einie, was hard trying to get her to gain weight. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and step out now. Enjoy the kittens.